Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I am uh, awake. I just woke up. I, it was a very loud bang outside, and so now I am uh, rudely awoken. If it happens again, I'm gonna... I don't know. If it's super loud, I'll like edit it out, but I don't think it's gonna happen again. Let's get to it, shall we? Uh, I need to... No, I don't need to do anything. I started a... I'm starting Bortra again on stream. It's fun. Just gotta make sure I don't have anything fucked up happen to me. I'm good with barricade. I actually have been fully converted into a barricade believer. I think that this curse is pretty, pretty easy. Sorry? Oh, my hands are wrong. My mistake. Yeah, I'm glad that someone pointed it out. I'll have to amend my curses video. Although, honestly, I probably won't. It's, it was good to learn, though. I'll play Spine. At Magical's biggest issue is that you can run into situations where you just don't have the damage to kill thorns. And Spine doesn't help with that, but I don't think it hurts that much either. I It's okay, right? He has the side, but sometimes he just misses. It's alright. Probably. I'm not 100% convinced it's alright, but we'll see. But yeah, I think that barricade is better than i originally believed by a pretty large margin i am curious as to why because in 2.0 this curse killed me a lot so i gotta wonder what happened i'm guessing what happened is the fights changed right i think that it's maybe just less common that you find yourself in trouble with barricade but it also might just be I've gotten better at the game, and I can dance around the barricade issue a little more. That's completely possible as well. It's not as hard to play around as I remember, and it could just be that I've gotten better at the game. Oh, it's most damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, shouldn't the goblin be moving forward? No. No, he should not be. He's just killing himself on my spine. I don't know. It's not a good play, buddy. Yeah, and it's in a similar way. I find that there's a lot of intuition that comes with playing Slice and Dice. You just kind of got to learn things. By the way, I think you pick Medware here because I'm a little worried that if you make two bones, this fight might become very hard to win. Barricade does make Bramble quite a bit harder. But... Oh, you know what? I would love from you guys, actually. So I'm working on this video, right, for... Uh, beating the bosses of this game, it'd be very good for me if you would give me your advice. If you have any uh, any tips as we go through on these bosses, please let me know. Uh, I think the, the format of the video is going to be something like, I tell you uh, the lose condition of a boss, and then I tell you how to get around it. So like, for example, the lose condition of Bramble is you run out of sides, for sure. I can fix this. I definitely want to burn. And then I can heal through it. You, you run out of sides versus Bramble, you just don't have the damage to kill him off. And so he's more threatening if you have ways to like that make him a longer fight. And he's less threatening if you have a team that just pumps out a bunch of damage, which is not too crazy. Uh, but it's kind of like a hit or miss, right? Like, this team does not pump out a lot of damage. Things like Scoundrel and Spine are low damage into Bramble. Uh, also similar, like, Juggler's really bad into that boss because she just hits her 1-2s and then dies. Not dies, but, like, has nothing else to do. Uh, whereas, you know, someone like, I don't know, Berserker, where you're all, your damage is completely front-loaded, he's really good into Bramble. Stuff like that is what I'm looking for. But it's... It, arrogant for me to think that I'm going to be able to cover everything. Like, it's just, it's never, it's not possible. I don't think. So, if you have any tips, even if you think I already know them, please drop them in the comments as we, just, the way, the best way for you to do it for me is, like, in runs where we see a specific boss, just go like, hey, I, here's a piece of information. The big thing that I can use here, because I think general theory is pretty good, but, like, item setups are really hard to just know. Uh, really, I didn't draw a focus there. Hmm. Fair. 
Uh, I will go here. But no, so, so like a, a good one that I'm going to be talking about for sure. But like, and a, a good example, of this is like Clumsy Shoes is really good into troll, right? Uh, or the follow up to that then is that Clumsy Shoes also has a long term life because it's good into Wendigo. Or at least acceptable into Wendigo. I'm a pretty big rogue fan here. I can go focus road. Although it's not very good, actually. Those are the sorts of things that I'm looking for, though, that I just don't know off the top. Uh, are there other good examples? Let me think. Oh yeah, the, anything anything for Hexia would be helpful too, because I look, there's a lot of things you can do to Hexia, and it's hard to get all of them uh, remembered. Uh, like, there are a lot of things to do to Hexia, though. And it's hard because I want to talk about it as in, like, this item is good for Hexia because it really shifts the power of the fight and not this is good for Hexia because it's pretty good, right? Like, uh, what, what, is, a, what is an example of this? Let me consider for a moment. Um... Because I'm sure that that didn't make much sense in actuality. Let me do this. Oh wait, I need to focus. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Uh, it's less fine, actually. I don't want to let Spine die. So I should go two mana, then burn, then heal Spine. Because I do want to burn. Um, anyway. Uh, wait, okay, so like an item that's good into Hexia but doesn't win you the game into Hexia is something like uh, uh, Cloak. That's a good example. Cloak is good into Hexia because it gives you the option to have a cleanse, or not a cleanse, but a dodge on your character that's going to mana burn. But I wouldn't think to myself, okay, well I got Cloak, now I auto win Hexia, you know. That's the sort of stuff that I'm looking for. It's hard to... Uh, keep it all in order though because there's just there's so much shit I think like this boss for example I think the best thing but there's not really an item that I would say is good or bad like there's no in instant win synergy into this boss there's nothing that I'm thinking of and going oh yeah I'm I'm gonna take this because it's good into the witches this boss is just a flow chart it's kill in said order or else however it's pretty bad to fight uh, the witches with barricade. This is probably one of the worst setups for us, but they didn't do anything too scary here. So I'll chill. My rogue kind of whiffed. I need to roll poison on him there. Need to not fuck around. You should definitely heal. Anyway, if you if you want to sneak peek at how you fight this boss, it's very simple. This boss is just a flow chart. It's uh, on turn, your goal is to kill one witch right away, and uh, generally you're going to kill them based on what they're doing. So like there I didn't need to kill anyone because they weren't doing anything lasting. You want to stop the lasting effects, which are one damage weak and cleave and two damage poison. And technically summon wolf is a lasting effect, you just don't care about that because uh, wolves. Haha. <laughs> uh, good one. Well, yeah, we're gonna try to kill Magra or Gaitha here. I think it's actually impossible. Sad, isn't it? It's okay, I'm getting maybe the most value out of Spine that anyone has gotten in the history of this game. Hmm. I suppose. They're all on 3 HP, which is nice, but they're just going to get tossed around a little bit. I need some good cantrip pits here, please. Hmm. Um. I think I should lock this. Okay, let's see what we have here. It'd be nice to kill Gaitha. It'd be nice to... Press burn. 
I can kill one. So I can save Herbalist or Acolyte or Spine. I save Herbalist. Eh. I save Spine. I think he's probably the best one to have at full HP. It's not too big of a deal if I lose a character or two in this fight anyway, because I have pretty good healing through Spine. And that'll do. Tough fight though, definitely the hardest fight in the game for Barricade. I mean, maybe, maybe the hand is worse, but I don't think so. Dragon Head Gloves is just almost always really good. It is so often a very strong item to have. So, I'll take it. It's solid, for sure. Uh, wow. This shade is gonna cause me trouble, but I'm gonna try to not let it run wild here. There's only so much you can do, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta go, like... Let me think about this. Is there some voodoo we can do here I don't think so I actually think that you can't do anything to this maybe burst burn vine vine kill there it is there was actually something I could do to that, but it does set my rogue up to die if they can't trip into int, which is a, a risk. But it doesn't happen to us here. I do have to live another round of the shade. Which is troubling. Need to roll spine for sure. We can lock the poison, I suppose. Yeah, I'm looking for the heal four. If I roll heal four, I can save everyone. Come on, Spine. What are we doing, buddy? Not too bad, though. Just don't cantrip into him. Ooh, very nice. The shades are very bad, since enemies just walk away from you and you go, Hey, wait, come back here. And then they just keep walking. Not really anything you can do about it. You think my rogue did something to these guys? Or, like, what's going on here? Because he's getting fucking smoked constantly. And for what? We can break intangible and then kill both graves. Rogue's dead. There's no, no two ways about it. My man is not coming back from that one. That was a very long walk off of a very short pier they made me take. Yeah, I'm not adding anything to this fight. It's very frightening with Barricade. Without Barricade, maybe. But because I like Learn Remedy a lot. It's a really good item just to have. Pressure Chest doesn't look very good because our items are good. Um, and I think Erythrocyte kind of sucks. Although you can play it here because we have the Dragon Hide. I just don't think it's good. Oh. Oh. It's my my favorite item in the game. I love that one. Oh yeah, baby. That was the one I was waiting for. Love Pauldron. Hmm. Focus is pretty bad for this run, I'm noticing. It's very hard hard to actually get focus value ever. It'll be good if I get a unit who can deal with it for me. I can do like this. One more damage to this quartz and then I kill it. Okay. Um. Dude, these, these are hard. These turns are very hard. They're very confusing.
I can go here, everything moves up. And then I can go like vine. Burst. He doesn't have the health. So I'd have to I have to burst spine from this spot. I can go, how about vine burst? God, I, I like these fights a lot. It's fun to do bone math like this. Uh, so I want to kill these two and save Spine, ideally. And maybe I just ignore the courts. Can burst that guy to one. That's good enough. We can move on. It's fun to sit there and min-max, I think, but it's just me sitting there staring at this going, hmm, can I get it very slightly better? And the answer is no. No, I cannot. And I also, if I just have no one die, I'm going to have lethal anyway. Um, Surgeon, Fate, I think the Surgeon is very good. So I'll play Surgeon. Also, Surgeon can hold this focus item very well. I do need to take off Dragon Hide Gloves, but we can do it like this. And then I can focus off of the Heal 1 regen. The tips for Baron, by the way, this guy's really easy to give tips for. It's kill ghosts. That's all you gotta do. You break both intangibles turn one, this fight's over. Just don't focus the boss because he's a joke. He's a real, a real goofy guy. You don't even have to do anything more than this on turn one, I think. Yeah, I know, I have two dice remaining, don't rub it in. Him spawning bones on barricade is a little scary. I won't lie. I'm a little frightened. We're gonna roll to see if I can hit the... The one of these that's grown. I had to double check that I actually did hit the growth. I did. Oh, look at that, I hit it. And we can hit it again. Not too bad. I have 12 mana now. Uh, we can go cruel for the top ghost. Seems good. Yeah, I think that was pretty solid. And that's the fight. Nice and easy. I mean, it's, uh, it's, as I've said, maybe I haven't said on camera, I don't know. It's hard to keep track of what I say to you and what I say to Twitch chat. But, uh, someone in Twitch chat told me that they went and did some investigating in dream mode. And Baron, as a solo boss, can show up in combat 4. That's how he's valued. So, uh, you know. He's a bit of a loser. Jump is really fun. Probably not very good here. Here, I'll take it because it's fun and I want to do something cool. And I'm not going to lose the game if I don't have it, so. You can jump and then mana gain here is okay. I think it's fine for my guy to have a little bit of a vulnerability. 1x on Surgeon? It doesn't happen. I don't think. I hope. I hope it doesn't happen. Uh, we can do... Also, like, his defensive capabilities here? Pretty wild. Very good. Sure. Oh yeah, I should get one. Sure, fine. I need to get a good blue to pay out this run now. But everything feels pretty much uh, in my favor here. Mm. I don't think Artificer is very good, but I also despise Forsaken. I think this unit is not very good at all. I could play Artificer, but then I'm just going to be bursting with all my mana. But I could play, uh, I could use Artificer and then we could just pick up something like, uh, what was it called? Uh, Shaman. And we can just use that to live forever. Shaman, Surgeon, Artificer sounds fine. I have Jump. I'm gonna go random. 
Okay, it's fine. I'm not too afraid of Tainted here, really. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, cool. I guess I'm gonna do this. Do I have a four? I don't have a four. Oh, that's too bad. Um, hmm. If I could get a four and I could pair this static home, I could be hitting 16 mana off of two dice. That would be pretty good. How about, oh, you know what I can do instead? I could do, uh, oh, I don't have room for it. Oh, well. We can play... I don't have any side replacers for luggage, is the trouble. Do I have anything to make my left side better? Not really. I think we'll just do uh, focus jump here, and we'll do static tome luggage. And we can give our boy this shield, since he's kind of important now. Okay. I suppose. It's only fight 14 and I'm looking at that. That's crazy. That's real wild. It's also crazy that my herbalist has just become a focus enabler. I was expecting to get got there for that one. I deserve to die. But, eh, I suppose not. What do I do here? This team seems really bad at this uh, curse, I have to say. I really have to kill these guys the long way? That doesn't seem good. I have to knock out three bandits and a basilisk all at once. Blades would have been nice for this, I suppose. Oh well. I need, I need regen from you, herbalist. Focus, I guess, would be fine too. Or not focus, uh, growth, but... The regen gives us one to all, which matters because I'm fucking killing these guys by hand. You know, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It turns out that if you just make infinity mana, then nothing matters anyway. At that stoic. Hmm, probably play Ogre's Blood here. I definitely play Ogre's Blood here. That's not really a question, because we can do Ogre's Blood. We could do like this is pretty good. Ogre's Blood. Uh Dragon Eye Gloves Rogue looks fine. Watch my rogue just double send it into the thorn here. I think it can't even happen, because they're gonna step back. I am going to sacrifice everything in order to get a four. Let me tell you. This is four. Oh, hey, a four. I didn't even realize. I, I said that and I did not notice that I could just get that shit. That's nice. No complaints here. Oh, herbalist. I was like, why is that guy poisoned? We could jump ghast. <laughs> that looks good, right? How about uh, jump Ludus? What do you think about that? No? Hmm. Weird. Well, no artificer, no ghast. The only bad thing to hit now is ace, but ace isn't even that bad because I can give him uh, the pair and then jump it. Which is useless, but it would look cool. Hmm. I'll take random. Ah. Ooh. Um. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh. Um. Interesting. 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 Curious. We could do jump and then cover it, and then we just took Ludus. I'm not doing that. That doesn't seem right. I don't think that's the way. 
Uh, it's kind of like... I don't know, though. What do you do here? Guess you go here. It's okay. Here or what? I trust. Good start. I want to... Roll. I'm not gonna live in fear. I should live in fear. I should so live in fear. Oh my god, I should have been fucking quaking. Good god. And my luggage choked. It's okay, I have Sergeant at least. Get up, roulette. No sleeping on the job. It's fine. Damage on roulette doesn't matter. She's gonna uh, die anyway. My luggage getting sent into hell. Not ideal. I need that guy. And I need four mana. Come on, luggage. You're fine. I'll let him get you. It's tough anyway, because he is going down. Like, he's, he's dying anyway. I mean... Okay. I set this guy to two. What's he gonna do to me? Roulette has to draw lethal here. See? I can't lose. Wax seal. Oh my god, I hit it. Holy. That ain't right. Um. So now, I mean, we, we are just drowning in incredible items here. It's actually hard to, uh, like, to, to play because I have so much good shit here. Which is a good problem to have, for sure. I still, I still have a tier 9 to find, too. It is a dream. It's like, it's crazy because I'm going to struggle from getting too much value. I'm getting way... I have too many good things to do. It's hard to do them all. Bork. Agree. Um, we can kill... Nope. Sorry, forgot what curse I had for a moment. But, like, I'm losing value here on Surgeon because I can't get the focus anymore because I had to give up the stuff I was using focus on. Because instead of getting the focus, I'm just getting five mana from Herbalist. And I'm not getting these pairs anymore because I'm not getting... Because of the same reason. Focus. Herbal Surgeon is a no. Shaman doesn't look good here. I think Warlock is a no-brainer. Because we can go Braids. Which looks good. Could probably take this focus off of Surgeon, actually. Because he's never going to proc it anymore. It can go on Roulette. And what about the Bloodlust? The Bloodlust Shield, I suppose. It's fine. It's a staggering number of items, though. I love playing with these wild items, too, because sometimes we just get the most crazy shit. Like this Static Tome.m4. That's absurd. That item should not exist. And yet, here I am, making eight mana in a turn. Isn't it just a little bit silly? Horned Viper is probably a winner here. I can't really imagine us running into any trouble anyway, but now, on top of everything else, I can just have my roulette launch uh, potentially 14 poison, depending on how things shake out. If you want shortcut math for doing chomp fights, by the way, the trick to this fight is that you just you just want to look at your top and bottom characters and total it up. So uh, I'm going to take 10 to both of these guys, which means my roulette needs 3 HP and my surgeon needs uh, 1. So I go 3 to roulette, 1 to surgeon, and now I should be, if I'm not mistaken, nobody dies. Yeah. That's how you... Uh, cheat past having to think there. Good to play Doctor, I think. 
over profit into inevitable yeah because i think doctor holds this item combo a lot better i think doctor does this super well and profit is not as good for it i almost picked artificer in case we fought inevitable but i did not and now i will deal with the consequences which aren't really that big of an issue let me see here we can go five really oh i took focus off of him right hey where's my focus i say confusedly one two three four yeah okay i was thinking for some reason you could use uh i was thinking that if you had five damage you would be able to break inevitable you'd be able to break two intangible hp that's wrong i don't know why i would think that uh let's go down the line here it's gonna be i don't have a great setup for killing wisps actually i'm just gonna have to burst through them i suppose and it doesn't matter too much. I'll kill. I, I don't have a great setup for killing wisps. I only killed four of them on turn one. And also put five poison into inevitable. Hmm. Seems fine to me. Did these bloodlust rolls, though? Sheesh. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um. Kind of down to just exert myself here. Hard to pass on Kill the Wisp. Oh, you know what I could do, actually? I have the mana for it? I do. I'm just gonna lick her through the exerts. Can I lick her through all of them? I think I can. As long as I burst bones for... Yeah, imagine... Imagine a world where you get exerted. Not me. I don't have to worry about that shit because I can just set up... <laughs> I can just pay 9 mana to cleanse the exerts. That's where we are today. Who are you on? You're on 17. It, this turn actually makes effectively no difference. This guy is going to end the same. I'm going to break all these intangibles. He's going to heal it all back. Nothing to be done about it. I'm just chilling. The poison didn't even end up being all that good for this run. Imagine that. But I guess it's it's kind of hard to say good or bad for poison when I'm sitting here making 12 mana per turn consistently. Hmm. Cool. Uh, good shit, luggage. And I randomed, in I randomed there when I could have rolled tainted because even if I rolled tainted, barring like an actual... Uh, the odds of it killing me were very low. It would have to be some divine intervention level bad luck. So, I wasn't afraid. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.